welcome to VCR Party. I'm Joe. This is Nick. They are childhood friends who fell in love with VHS and refused to let it die. But the journey has not always been easy. All right, so I'm surprised that we're still talking to each other after last week's... Uh, it was contentious. It was bad. As we take a look... Behind the party. Nick Brewer is one half of the comedic duo known as the Found Footage Festival. He is most known for his dry wit and love of Alf. But is there something else lurking below the surface? Today we find out. Got it's him. eroticized. Uh, I've noticed you, you play a lot of more erotic videos. Yeah, I'm into eroticism. Yeah. Um, You're a sexual man, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, completely. Yeah, and I like people thinking me that way. The hints are there in episode one. Nick announces a tape that may on the surface appear to only relate to sports, but a more careful examination reveals the clip to be a proclamation. I am a sexual man. Hear me groan. All right, well, this one needs no introduction. Um, it's called Buxom Boxers. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, you do need to put this in, but oh. then I'll read the uh, oh, description up this here. This is the sexy section of the show, right? Yeah, this is kind of the last one I wanted to show you. Sure. Every human being is a living testament to the carnal success of their forebears, but Joe and Nick have used their professional lives to screen carefully selected VHS clips that push a flagrantly pro-eroticism agenda. This begs the question, which of these two is the true driving force for this lasciviousness, forever throbbing against the zipper of YouTube's community standards? I've been wanting to watch this one for so long. It's on the cover, so boring. Yeah, because look at, look at the back here. Look at this. They have two hunks. Shirtless hunks Oily, on the back. Greased up hunks. Take your antifreeze tester and stick it in oh. to the radio. Squeeze the tip and suck up some antifreeze into the tester. <laughs> the antifreeze part. If Look. you have three or four balls floating, you're okay. Nick and Joe didn't invent lovemaking, but you wouldn't know it given the exuberance with which they extol the virtues of sexual congress. Viewers of VCR Party Live have long observed one constant thread of discourse among the badinage of these two seemingly innocent Midwesterners, the ardent promotion of unfettered sensuality. Um, this is the secrets of boudoir photography. The tips are pretty good. I found myself actually feeling like this was a useful video if I wanted to take boudoir photos. But, uh, of yourself? Of myself, you yeah, yeah, yeah. A modification can be easily made by changing the gel the colors wife. over the background lights from amber to pink. This effect offers a subject a more innocent and playful look. Mm. How to meet women in St. Louis. Great. It's uh, one of those shockingly uh, specific videos that we have in our collection. One night, it was late, I got off work, I was tired, I was hungry. I'm looking down the pasta aisle. <laughs> and this guy walked up to me and said, hey, you really look nice. And I thought, you know, that takes a lot of nerve. Joe understands how uncomfortable this topic is for Nick to discuss on the show. His parents watch every week. Ironically, their activities vis-a-vis -vis this topic are what brought Nick into the world. Joe masterfully wields this discomfort as yet another avenue for bullying Nick. Well, hello, hello Melinda. Melinda's. Hi, everybody. Welcome, Melinda's. Episode 69. Very sexual episode. Um, not that it's sexual. Yeah. Sexual, is it? No, I don't think so. Well, I, I did some sexual stuff. I'm starting to think maybe I'm a sexual. I guy. think so, because I didn't even think about the 69, but you brought it up. so You didn't even think about it? No, I didn't. Didn't occur sure. to me. Uh -huh. um, I don't even know what that What's is. What's your definition of a 69? I'm not going into this. <laughs> I think it's common knowledge. This is the show where we watch old VHS tapes uh, <laughs> off the shelf. We have 10,000 videos. We do a show called the Found Footage Festival. And uh, we always start off with a Found Footage Festival classic. Bef but before we get to that, I wanted to ask Nick about, because remember w with the um, Dutch ovens, we both had different, different yes. definitions yeah. of Dutch ovens. I was wondering, it might be interesting if... Uh, See if we had differing definitions of 69s. So what's yours? You go first. Okay, great. Um, it is a sort of the yin and yang symbol, but um, as a sexual position. Okay, need way more detail than that. Hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe you go first. Maybe that's the better. Uh, 
Uh, Better way to go. It's uh, when the guy does uh, cunnilingus at the same time that the girl does uh, fellatio. Okay, great. My, my definitions are the same. Yeah, yes, no difference. It. Yes. I don't think there's a real big uh, disparity between definitions gonna, of 69. We agreed on something. Oh, Come on. okay. All right. All right. Great. Teamwork. Yep. Uh, you well, saying. With that Every episode, I think he has at least like one sexy video, hey, doesn't he? I know what uh, gets the clicks. I uh, know what gets your clicks going, uh, too. Huh? Hey, buddy, yeah. No, I don't think my grandma who's still alive knows. I think she knows it's something to do with comedy. Does but, she know about your sexuality? or? No, yeah, oh yeah, that. we're very open, my whole family. Just <laughs> that Midwestern openness, yeah. Blondes, brunettes, and redheads. It's the first all-female hunting video. See, more sexuality coming yeah, from you. Yeah, see, that's how I roll. You're a very sexual man. Well, how is hair color sexual? <laughs> Mounting a climbing squirrel. <laughs> Mounting a climbing squirrel. A Again, sexuality. Oh, sexuality. Just Whoa. more horny today than usual? No, no, I'm just always this horny. Okay, yeah. really? A DVD yeah. sent to us by uh, Nikki from Philadelphia. She comes to all our shows. Uh, this Coonan is Coonan and Beaverin. Beaverin. Look yeah. at you. Yep. God, you're just red hot tonight, Again, not you? sexual. You're making it that way. You're red hot. No matter how much, you know, Nick tried to deflect and get Joe to move on, Joe just kept labeling him as a sexual man, and I have to be honest, I didn't help at all. I've read that um, pubic lice have actually been um, almost eradicated because you're, no one has pubic hair anymore. Nick, so, bringing it back to the sexual yeah. man. <laughs> He's a sexual There's man. There's nothing sexual. It's just a fun fact you about, know about, about You know lice. pube news. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have a pube corner. Only a very sexual man would know That's pube true. news. That's true. Well, I'm on all my pube message boards. While Nick's placid demeanor initially attempts to diffuse the situation, the relentlessness of Joe's attacks allows the same fiery Nordic rage that propelled Leif Erikson across the vast Atlantic to finally emerge. Um, you can see it's a tapestry that's Pussy's Prayer. Nick is a sexual No, man. this isn't sexual at all. This is just a prayer of hey, two cats. Nick. Very, you read very into this what you want. Man. And then it says Scotland on the bottom. So this is your tea towel. This is It's not a tapestry. It's a tea towel that you would have in Scotland to wipe up your tea. Hey, and, Nick. And, Joe wasn't happy with just the occasional mention of Nick being a sexual man. He decided to go all out and create a corner for Nick to be sexual in. I've observed that you play a lot of very sexual clips with like babes that are barbecuing or like, or like butt camp or something like right. that. See I've, what it is, is I think I try to gravitate towards things that people will enjoy to watch. It's a thing like, it's like sex sells. Well, I don't know, I, but I feel like on the surface that you, you don't exude sexuality, but I think- well, you're I resent to, that. I think you're trying to tell us something by playing all these sexual videos. Oh. Is that your sexual man? Okay. And so I, uh, I, emailed my buddy Todd Hansen from Winona, Minnesota, and he uh, produced a song uh, for your corner, which I'm gonna call Nick's Sexuality Corner. Great. Where it's just like, you just play sexual videos. And so he, he gave me Great. the song. Great, I hope this is my legacy. Um, he gave me the song, I set it to some video, and I've had the song stuck in my head all day long, and I... Nick, he is a sexual man. Hey, Nick. Very sexual man. Nick is highly sexual. Naturally sexual. Sexuality is so important in Nick. He's a caring lover, a very caring lover. His number one hobby is making love and being sexual with his partner. He's dripping with sexuality. He's shy about his sexuality on the surface, but deep down in his loins, his sexuality brings with intense fervor. Nick, he is a sexual man. Hey, Nick! You're a very, very sexual man. A very, very sexual man. Great. Okay. You know, initially I was resisting it, but I'm all for it after I that think, I uh, intro. I honestly think you yeah. should do a Nick's Sexuality Corner. And right, I, I could be like a Dr. Ruth and kind of just help people. In retrospect, perhaps Joe's anointing of Nick as a, a sexual man is really a projection of his own lustful persona. Hidden amidst the gelatinous hellscape of other, less monetizable bodily functions he discusses on the show regularly. Jazzercise. So, I've been cutting together a montage of exercise videos. Not even close. Okay. Is the show nudity? 
I didn't get that far. Okay. Oh, I like how it's starting. But it is a Hooters training video. <laughs> now who's the sexual man? Yeah, well. Somebody somewhere is gonna buy it. In the final analysis, it doesn't matter which of them is sexual or why. Really, the beneficiaries are the viewers who continually work themselves into a licentious frenzy every Tuesday night. Indeed, one wonders how many children have been sired by viewers of VCR Party Live who suddenly found themselves so overwhelmed with libidinousness during one of Nick or Joe's salacious clips that they entered into a wanton union mid-episode into their own personal excitement corner until both passionate lovers heard each other scream, that did it done. That got me thinking about a classic video in our collection. It focuses on, on the butt. Butt flex. Squeeze them both. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the right. And one. Well, George, once again, I think French and the Creep has managed to prove absolutely nothing. Um, wh what do you think? Or how do you think we should handle this? Even if we have no definitive conclusion, we've provided viewers with enough evidence for them to make up their own minds. So what say you, Melinda's? Who is sexual? Let us know in the comments, or better yet, email us at info at foundfootagefestival.com. Um, until then, we can't wait for the uh, um, for your responses. Um, and until then, I think we're done. So uh, everyone's a puppet when you're dead. Cheeks. Cheeks.